Hello everyone and welcome to lecture 3. In lectures 1 and 2 we learned that by definition a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction is an allergy. In lecture 2 we learned that this is mediated by specific antibodies that bind to mast cells through something called the FC epsilon R1 receptor. This explains why we get seasonal and perennial or year-round allergies depending on when the allergen is in our environment. Now in our environment, anything that is outside of you is technically foreign. Your body's immune system needs to distinguish which of these foreign things are harmful to you versus something that could be left alone. When your body reacts to stuff that's benign, this is called a hypersensitivity reaction. When your body reacts to things like pollens, it's clearly overreacting, and that's why we term it a hypersensitivity reaction. Now these mast cells, if I were to take a microscope and look at different parts of your body, they're essentially found everywhere. Everywhere where your body would need some kind of defense, be it the GI tract, the lungs, the heart, blood vessels, skin, nose, sinuses. Your eye is exposed to the air and different things can fly in. When something flies in and your body thinks it's harmful, it wants to create a reaction. It makes you tear up and it makes your eyes itchy. This is termed conjunctivitis. Now, when we look at this at the micro level, we see that a little bit of the pollen has been recognized by the antibodies, which in turn activate the mast cell to unleash chemical warfare, to kill and neutralize whatever's coming in. Now, the mast cell has other ways of recognizing self from non-self. You can imagine that sometimes your body needs to react without having seen something before. These are all defense systems of your body. Let's talk about some of the other cells involved. In most parts of the body, including your eye, we have the innate immune system, which reacts with the adaptive immune system. We have the antigen-presenting cell, the T cell, and the B cell. Let's talk about these in detail. Here is the antigen presenting cell. The whole reason why this guy exists is to tell different parts of your body and different parts of your immune system, hey, I think I found something here. What do you think about this? Now the mast cell, like any other cell in your body, can also present antigen as well. If the antigen presenting cell sees something, in this case a grass pollen, it will let the T cell know the T cell in turn determines, hey, is this harmful or not? If it decides that it's harmful, it will then interact with a B cell. The B cell will be reacting as well. The B cell, once activated, becomes a plasma cell producing antibodies. If it happens to be the IgE type of antibody, it will mount a parasite-like response in the immune system. Now, the pollen is not harmful to you, but in Activating this response, you will get symptoms. A plasma cell is essentially a factory of antibodies. These antibodies go in turn, coat your mast cells, your eosinophils, and the basophils. This allows these other cells to react to things faster and more aggressively the next time it sees something. Let's talk about an allergy. An allergic reaction, type 1 hypersensitive reaction, involves white blood cells. Here we see our friendly APC, the B cell, and the T cell. Now these guys work perfectly in concert most of the time to mount a formidable response. The end result is the mast cell being activated. It releases both late phase and immediate phase reactions. Many of these things include tryptase, histamine, over the short term, other things like TNF-alpha, proteases, heparin, leukotrienes also get released. Over minutes, prostaglandins, platelet activating factor, and other lipid mediators get released. Over more time, other cytokines, which are just chemical signals that your body uses to communicate, also get released, such as IL-4 and IL-13. All of these things are essentially chemical warfare against various things. In the next chapter, we're going to talk about specifically seasonal allergies and year-round allergies.